Good evening and welcome back to the Rest News channel where we discuss issues and trends facing the oil and gas industry. If you are new to the channel, kindly like, subscribe and share to stay updated with the current trends. We have with us today Pranav Kant, a seasoned expert in the oil and gas industry. Welcome back, sir. How is your Sunday going on? Thanks and it's a pleasure to be back here and Sunday has been going great, so a little bit busier than usual, but all great. That's good to know. So, uh, I'll be starting off with my first question for today. Crude prices have been recovering for the last two weeks as Russia speaks about production cuts in response to the G7 response. Do you see a crude rally in the near future? Good question. And that's where um, a few things need to be uh, reiterated. Our view has been bearish for oil for quite some time. And... In all fairness, it included the previous two weeks where instead of being bearish, uh, the crude prices uh, have gone up. So to that extent, to take the good with the bad, our call over the last two weeks has not really been reflected in the market performance. But having said that, things are getting interesting because the overall trend continues to remain very, very bearish. And here is why. Primarily, when we look deeper, the product demand. So there is a crude demand and there is a product demand. Product is consumed by consumers. Crude is consumed by refiners. So that's where the big difference is. The product demand has been trending lower and lower since February of 2022. So it has been in secular decline. And we are talking in terms of year-on-year -year growths. So over the last two months, November and December, December is uh, continuing where the fag end of it, it is in the negative trend. Right? So that continues and that should not be lost sight of while in terms of, and that is at a worldwide basis. And that is also reflected in the product demand in two of the biggest markets, which is USA and China. That is also in the negative territory. To compound the matters, the product stocks are at a higher elevated level. They are at near all-time high when we look at the five-year, previous five-year data sets. And uh, when it comes to China, China has uh, shown some good crude imports over November and December. But their overall product stocks over the last five years at the highest level level. So they cannot sustain. Only way they can sustain this higher level of crude imports if they were to export more and more. But then again, overall product demand worldwide is still in the decline. So no matter how much they export, their product level stocks are at a very elevated level. So again, going forward, they are not going to be having sufficient bandwidth to support the crude markets. So what we are saying is the demand is slowing worldwide. Now that we have the benefit of data in the hindsight and the crude market, the forward curves are in a contango, contango and backwardation. So it's uh, throughout the last year, uh, throughout this year, it has been uh, it's in backwardation. Now it has moved to a slight contango. And with the product level the way it is, we believe the bearish trend is just around the corner. Coming back to the core question as to do we see the crude price increase continuing its trend? Very clear assessment from our side, no. We still believe it will come back to from the current level of about 84 almost 84 to the brand, it will come back to the below 80s over the next 7 to 10 days. Okay. So, moving forward to my next question for you. Petro product prices have also been weakening in the views of higher interest rates and China COVID spread factor. How, how do you see domestic bitumen and FO prices changing in the coming days? Yes, the domestic bitumen and fuel oil prices currently we are in December and January, which from the demand side 
are fairly lean months because the road construction activity gets impacted very, very severely due to the weather conditions. And uh, the crude prices, the way they are, we expect a little bit of pause uh, to the declining trend over the last two weeks and they to maintain uh, with a very small decrease in price over the next week. Okay, so we'll see what happens next week. Uh, as always, we, you have shared some great insights with us today. I'd like to thank you for being here. It was a pleasure talking to you. The pleasure was mine. Thank you. So thank you all for watching. Kindly continue to show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.